when I want to tie in to climb, I'm going to get myself in there. I need to break so I can start to tie in. I'm actually going to get a little bit more to make sure I can tie that double stopper knot on the end of my free foot finger weight. To do a single finger weight, I'm going to make another loop, go round the back and through there. Pull that all through, but not too tight because I do want to re-thread this. Just going to make sure I've got enough rope. You can always adjust this a little bit just to make sure you're going to be able to get that stopper knot. Cool. I'm going to go through the top of this harness. You're not going to go through the strong loop as it may not hold you properly when you're climbing. I'm going to pull that through because I don't want to make a false loop there in case you are using carabiner when you're climbing. We want to avoid false loops so that we are nice and safe when we're climbing. I'm going to pull that through around the top and basically re-thread this following the exact way we have gone before. Make sure this is nice and neat as well so that you are not creating those false loops as I said earlier. When you get to this point you're then going to pull that through and make sure from your so from the tip of your finger to your elbow you have enough rope to tie your double stopper knot. To tie double stopper knot is a little bit like a clove hitch. You're going over and making a cross. You're then going round the back of the bottom bit of rope Right again, and straight back through. You're going to pull that nice and tight, make sure there's no false loop there as well, because we don't want to endanger ourselves when we're climbing. And there you go. You could even put a triple stopper knot if you really wanted to, to make sure there's no tail on that rope.